Hey guys, it's Lawrence here. And in this video, I want to walk you through a strategy that we've been using that we've ethically stolen from Airbnb to help us generate more appointments. If you don't know who I am, my name is Lawrence and I've built and scaled two different agencies, Lawrence Marketing and now Hey You, where we help other agencies get more appointments on their calendar. So you'll have to forgive me a little bit. It's been a while since I read the book on Airbnb, but there was a strategy that they used to improve the check-in process of their customers when they check into Airbnb properties. And what we've done is we've taken that mindset, that process, and we've adapted it to our agency and it's helped us generate a lot more appointments. So in the book, they talk about making the check-in process as good as humanly possible. And I believe they used, it was either one to five or one to 10. I think it was one to 10 in terms of like star rating of what the check-in process could look like. So what they wanted to do is make the check-in process as good as humanly possible. So they thought to themselves, what would the worst check-in experience for a guest when they're checking into an Airbnb property, what's the worst experience that they could receive? So that would look like like the keys not being there, nobody being there to let them in, letting them in, and the place is kind of nowhere near the same description as the um, pictures, the place isn't clean, and you can kind of figure out what a bad check-in would look like. And unfortunately, we've probably all, all been there one or two times. And then the other side is like, what is the very best check-in? What could it look like? So that could look like the owner of the property meets you there they've got the keys in their hand they're smiling they're really nice got milk and coffee and all that stuff ready and waiting for you they might have booked you um, something to do they might have a cake waiting for you lots of different things to make the check-in kind of experience as nice as humanly possible and you can go like way further that they've booked you dinner they've paid for dinner they put on a show for you like the list goes on and on and so what they did is they mapped out what's the worst experience somebody could have and then what's the best, best, best experience somebody could have. And then what does a nine star rating look like? What does an eight star rating look like? What does a six, what does a four, what does a two star rating look like? And they mapped out every single kind of star and between one and 10 and figured out what that check-in process would look like. They didn't let kind of what would be deemed feasible to get in the way of what would a, what the best check-in process would look like. They just kind of let their imagination run wild to figure out what the ultimate check-in process would be like. And so I started to think, how can we use this, our agency, how can we use this specifically for our outreach? And you can use this in all areas of your agency, whether it be from, you know, your onboarding process with your clients. But for this video specifically, I want to focus on outreach and how we can use it to get more, more appointments on the calendar, basically. So if we look at outreach and we map out stars from one to 10, and I would suggest you go through and do this exercise, just do kind of one through to 10 on the side of the page and then along, write down what a 10 out of 10 outreach looks like and what a one out of 10 outreach looks like. So if we say one out of 10, a one out of 10 might be a cold call where we just say, hey, we offer SEO services. Are you looking for SEO services? Boom. Never going to work. Not exciting. Not enticing. Nobody wants to be cold called. 10 out of 10 could be something like you know, physically turning up to their office and bringing them gifts, bringing them all sorts of things. You're only kind of limited to your um what you can think of basically and it seems like i can't think of much at this stage so you're really just limited to your imagination as to how good an outreach could be so you would mark that at number 10 and it doesn't matter whether it's unachievable you know you can't fly out and meet somebody and go to their office and say hello that's irrelevant for this exercise it's just about thinking what is the very very best thing you could possibly do regardless of money regardless of everything and then you work back one stage or you go from one and you work forward one stage and you kind of keep on going until you meet in the middle and then what you're left with is these different kind of ideas almost of how you can do your outreach. And then it's about figuring out how can we actually make some of these 10, some of these nine stars, some of these eight stars, and some of these seven stars, how can we make them a reality? How can we how can we change them slightly? How can we use technology maybe to improve these and make them more realistic, basically? Hey, just real quick, sorry to interrupt the video, but I just wanted to let you know of our brand new free course that we have just launched that takes you through how to book more appointments on your sales calendar through cold email. The course is completely free. It comes with a free community as well where there's live calls where you can ask me anything, get your questions answered. The second link in the description is gonna take you to the free course. 
as I say, completely free. And it's going to walk you through how to get success from your cold email campaigns. So I will leave it there and enjoy the rest of the video. What people tend to do is they start from a position of how can I make something easy? How can I do something that's easy and is going to be scalable? When really what we need to be doing is how can I do something that is really hard that nobody else is doing? Regardless of how scalable it is, if you were to do one outreach and get one client, you know, it might actually be worth you jumping on an airplane and traveling to the other side of the country to speak to somebody. If your prices are, you know, whatever they are and they stick around for a long time, then it would be worth it. So how can you do things that are, regardless of scale are effective. That's the whole purpose of this exercise. Because what we want to do is we want to find something that works. And then we want to figure out how can we scale it, not the other way around. Or should I say not works and scales at the same time. We don't care about scalability to begin with. And that's where 99.9% .9 of agency owners, they fall into that trap. How can I find something that works and is scalable? Or what is everybody else doing? How can I do the exact same thing? And that's the wrong place to be looking. You want to be thinking to yourself, what is nobody else doing? What is not scalable in the slightest? And find something that actually works. And only when it works, do you then start to have a different conversation of, okay, this is working. We've got a predictable way of bringing in clients, which is business nirvana, by the way. We've got a predictable way of bringing in clients. It's not necessarily profitable. It's not scalable. It's not, doesn't, it's not a long-term thing. But how can we now solve these three things? Because that is infinitely easier to do than trying to do everything at the same time. So whether you can then utilize other people to, let's say, for example, fly out and meet somebody, or you can use technology to introduce somebody and set up a meeting before you fly out or whatever it may be. And I'm being kind of a little bit maybe unrealistic talking about flying to the other side of the country, but I'm just trying to give you examples of what you can do. You're limited only by your imagination. And as I say, if I can kind of get one thing across in this video, it is that you want to focus on something that works, find something that is work that works regardless of scale. That's the number one thing that people miss instead of doing everything, trying to find out everything at the same time, looking at YouTube videos, thinking, right, how can I do what everybody else is doing? Because what everybody else is doing is working. And trust me, it is not. It is the things that nobody else does that work. It's thinking outside the box and having some critical thinking as to what is going to work as opposed to following everybody else. So take that Airbnb approach and you can take it, as I say, not only in the method of which you do your outreach, but you can also think about like when you're creating your offer. What is a one out of 10 offer? What is a 10 out of 10 offer? What is a 10 star offer? experience look like even if it's completely out of the realms of possibility what does a 10 look like what does a one look like and what does everything else in the middle look like and when you have that conversation with yourself with all areas of your agency you're going to see things improve an awful lot so you know how do i deliver my outreach what do i say in my outreach how do i deliver that with my onboarding with clients what about my client communication and client experience if you map that out and do that one to 10 star rating that I kind of stole from Airbnb that they use in their business, then you won't go too far wrong, basically. So I hope that's helped. Um, if you have any questions around that, then drop a comment below, let me know, and I'll be more than happy to help. And if you've got value from this video, please hit that like button, please hit that subscribe button, help the channel grow. We'll be bringing you lots more content. And if you want help installing a proven system into your business that is going to generate you qualified sales calls on autopilot, then click the first link in the description and we'll be more than happy to help. So thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.